Hello folks and welcome to the Prodigy Presents the Lake Marshall Open. This is a PDGA A tier. We'd like to thank our core sponsor, Blue Chip Technologies and Heiser Media for creating this coverage. If you didn't check out the front nine, it is on Cake Your Media, but my name is Nick Hansen. Alongside me is Dan. Dan, how you doing today? Doing good. Doing as good as we can do in this wet, rainy conditions, man. Yeah, it's a little soggy out there today. Um, not seeing the scores we would have thought from our players, but still hanging in there. Uh, as we take a look at our leader, Bjorn, heading into the back nine. Ian's still on top there, but we've got some guys pushing up from the back. Carson Ham six down on the round so far. Yeah, that's a fantastic score for these conditions. And, you know, having to slip out of your hands in these woods can be disastrous, but we are going to move. To, we are going to be at hole 10, par 3, 280 feet. It plays like a chip shot because it is so downhill. And you can take a left side gap with the forehand or a right side gap with the backhand as a right-handed player. Wow, and as you see that one out of his hand, barely off the ground, trying to keep it low as possible. This one looks a little better. Gonna get all the way down to the circle. Yeah, and if if you want to see the disc fly the whole way, there's like a bench. You just gotta like stand on the bench, and obviously mm. it's hard. that's hard to do with a camera. Oh boy, and skipping deep out of bounds. Fortunate there. Looked like he was throwing a little faster at this, so not surprised with that skip. As Justin pulling with the backhand. Oh, he just Dan, caught. what are you throwing on this hole? I like to throw my really overstable pyro soft um, and just kind of have it dive in. But you're just focused on hitting the initial gap, you know, because you see these guys, they didn't get through exactly, and this putt is... It's a little deathy. Yeah, and then for Matt, unfortunately, hits the gap, but maybe juiced it a little too hard trying to hit the gap. Short hole if you want to get it, but pretty tricky. And Luke is going to put a birdie away on this first hole of the back nine. Yeah, that was a great putt. You know, and if, if you're, you know, I'm not one to look at scores during the round, but if you are, you know, even if, you know, our card didn't have the greatest front nine, but everyone's still very much in it. And Ian's, you know, he's currently winning. So, you know, everyone is still pushing. Great putt from Matthew there to save his par. A couple tap-ins here for the rest of our card. Moving to hole 11. This is a par 4, 601 feet. You got OB on the right. You basically got Jail on the left side. You want to get into this landing zone somewhere on this hill. If you can get over it, that would be ideal because you have a really tight tunnel to hit right through here. And then once you hit this gap, you got to deal with uh, water long into the right as well. So this is a, this is a tough three. Oh, no. Bye-bye. Oh, no. He said it himself. Yeah, that was cooked. Oh, that's disaster. I don't think he's getting that one back. No. Ian here doing a similar move, putting too much Anheuser on the disc. Maybe a win they're not reading off the tee. But Man. Very similar reaction from the disc. I think, yeah, that's definitely possible there's some wind. I think, you know, to get down to where you want to be to have a look at the three you really got to push and heiser flip something and have it turn right at the end and i think they're just juicing it a little bit too much um where matt landed it's a good spot but you're gonna need a really good shot to get your three work. justin's is in that... a similar spot as matt okay i was gonna say is that too pinched or it it is a little pinched you know, not that they're not going to be able to get their threes. It just makes it a lot harder. And uh, Lucas there puts it in a nice spot for him to get up and down to save his bow. Stay flying. Uh, don't start rolling the water. You know, 
He might have terrible. a look. He's got a chance to save his par. It's just in here. Really turning one. It needs to turn. Keep turning. Where'd that get to? Um, hard to tell, but with the camera panning like that, could be pretty close. Yeah. This gets through the trees. Oh, that got skinny. Oh, just getting a little greasy through there, but got a putt. We, we definitely take those. Oh, every day of the week. <laughs> That's a good upshot by Lucas to stop the bleeding. Come on. Yeah, Justin. Oh, let's go. Wow. Man, I've been jogging it in. My man. Well deserved rundown. Oh, getting a good replay here. Gives it a good, like, half bid. So that way, if you do miss, it doesn't go far past and right dead center. Let's see if Ian see. can back it up. Close. Similar type of run there, and as you can see, still very close to the basket. That's going to have a little easier birdie, but... Same on the scorecard. Mm -hmm. This did, this did come in as a tough hole, quarter stroke over par. <clears throat> but not not long enough to where you're not trying to attack it. So. Yeah. Car playing it is even. Moving on to a little bit of an easier hole here. Hole 12. This is a par 3, 255 feet. Heiser gap for the righties. And trying to work your way back up this hill. So you can take a wide hyzer and swing it in. Or I see a lot of people go on the inside of that tree. Because this is what you kind of see if you go on the outside. It kind of just stays out there. But that'll be yeah, a Yeah, you really, really need something about three quarters of the flight to start stalling in left. Mm -hmm. Or just this buttery flip up with a mid range. That's right. Cool. Oh. No. He knew it right out of his hand. Yeah, you just you just gotta be you know pick a side and be confident in wh whichever side you're picking. Oh, this looks good. Oh, did it? <laughs> there, you good shot for me in there. Giving the basket a little scare and should have another birdie. Oh. Oh my God. Come on. Wow. And why not? Why not try to make it, you know? You got a backstop there. You can give it a bid. Oh, and there we go. Matt from in the woods. Nice little jumper. Getting him two birdies back to back and getting him under par for the round. Yeah, well done to keep battling. That's the second little step jump putt we've seen him make. Justin tapping in. Ian's... Ian's tapping in, Lucas is tapping in for his par, and this was, if I'm not mistaken, the easiest hole in the course. Yeah, 30 birdies on the day for our MPO field. That's a lot. It's not, it's not a little, that's for sure. Very cool, and we're going to go to hole 13. This is a Par four, 515 feet, tight the whole way. There's really one lane going through here, dog leg to the right, basket is elevated on this little mound, and there is OB and water to the right. I don't see it reached very often, but it can happen. 
So you want to keep this straight a little, or you want to keep this shot a little straighter than you think. Oh, that was a oh. rough kick because that was looking good. I sometimes watch kicks and I'm like, how did you make it through all of that? And I think <laughs> that right there was an example. Okay. He's going in the right direction. I was going to say, it looked a little overturned, but it ended up not too bad. And if you have it, this like screaming flip up forehand is what a lot of people go with. That's a good shot. Yeah, Ian does have one of those uh, pretty good forehands, I'd say. Lucas also with a very good forehand here. Just overturning it though. Just a bit. Mm -hmm. You know, I, when it rains and everything is a little slippy, sometimes I find the disc is either too slippy or I dry it off too good and now it's like too good of a grip, like too grippy, you know? Yeah, I, I do. Oh, what a what, shot what? there. That was sick. Absolutely, man. That makes up for, that makes up for the drive right away. That was awesome. When there's conditions like this where it's pretty wet, do you feel one style is easier to throw than the other? Yeah, for whatever reason, my I feel better with my backhand. I think it's because I can get my full hand on it instead of, you know, just I use like a stacked oh. grip for forehands. And a good recovery shot for Matthew. Yeah, just a little hoverboard down the hill. Justin and Ian are going to be in good spots to attack the screen. Shy. He wants that one back. That's yeah. That's gonna be a tough putt from there. Yeah. He ain't going with his bird. Oh, and look at that park job! Wow. Well done. Yeah, as we see, Justin left himself probably about twenty-five, thirty feet. It's a oh, strike. Nice. Easy work of it. Dead center. Great putt, Justin. A little turkey for him. I think here is Matthew coming back at the basket to save uh, his par. Make sure that's dry. done good way to save that par uh so i'm sure you've heard of big putt before but do you ever feel more pressure sometimes when someone makes the putt and now it's your turn yes for whatever reason because people say it <laughs> but i think it makes me lock in a little bit better like well now i now i have to make it gives you just you know? a little more focus i think so it's almost like it's a, I'm a, a an exciting challenge <laughs> Some good birdies on that card there for out of our card. Yeah, we still got a tie at the top at, at 10 down. We're going to go to gorgeous hole 14. This is a par 3, 276 feet. Water carry basically 95% of the way. And I believe if you do not, if you do go OB, uh, there is a drop zone. like that it's just a little too wide yeah yeah and this is like whatever you're you know whatever you're feeling whatever you're most confident in that's what you're throwing just get it across that this seems is to like stay one in of those, yeah it looked it looked like it did this is one of those holes on your practice round though that you unload like half your bag at it yeah you're definitely ace hunting There's a good shot from Lucas, but look at the putt he has. How close is that basket to the water? Five feet? 
seven oh, feet. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So super death putt. Yeah, there we go. That's a good, good shot. shot from Matt. Seems like a layup. Oh no, he ran it. That was surprising. Maybe wow. he was a little closer than I thought, but pays the price. Ian appears also to be running it. Oof. What a little gap he's putting it through there. Yeah, both of them hit that same gap. I think he might have got a little lucky with that tree. Lucas giving it a bid, just a little low, but it's all right. Obviously, you want the bird, but Matt really wants the bird. So he knocks it down. Yeah, it's good. He's able to capitalize there. And Justin will get his disc back. Some, I've seen putts like that go in the water, and all of a sudden they disappear. I thought I was going to have to push them so much to hit him. Yeah, still yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a tough one. Yeah, this is. Rest of our card will tap out here. This is definitely one of the ones you feel like you got to get here. Nothing really in the way, just the mental game of the water. It's very pleasing to look at. It is. This one is also very pleasing to look at. This is a par four, hole 15 par four, 570 feet, double, another double peninsula landing zone is on the first one and then you're really trying to hit this inside gap and skip it up to the basket you can throw mid you can throw fairway off the tee if you go too far to the left you kind of get into a, a jail point if you go in the water there is a drop zone and that's way gone do uh do people ever go for that second peninsula yes it's definitely in play uh, but people who do go for it have to put a lot of power, right? And they, a lot of the mistakes end up yanking it right. Um, so maybe if the conditions were better, I, I think Ian would have went for it. Lucas might be going for it. We'll see here. That's a go. That's okay. This is great. It's got a swing. Nope. Oh, he got far back left. I think he out threw the second peninsula. Wow, I have never seen that before. And then Justin coming up a bit short on that first peninsula. This is gonna make this a very difficult second. He's choosing the high route, trying to swing something back in. Yeah, that's a that's a good result from where he was. Here's the drop zone I was speaking of. Definitely an opportunity to get up and down and save your par. Oh, he needs to slow down. He should be all right. There's a decent amount of room on the back side of that pin. Catching a little perfect. cabbage early, but still making it quite a ways. Yeah. Yeah, and you can see Ian just got, he's just pinched off. Yeah, that's a, it's a tough landing zone there. If you just get over the hill, it kind of funnels to that left side, so. Pretty uh, touchy shot. That's it. I just started that roll. No way. Oh, wow. I think it like hit the base of the basket and just popped up. Oh, very unfortunate for me. And Justin's will sit down, though. Here's Lucas to save his par. Also on a bat one OB. Maybe there's not as much room over there than I thought. Yeah, as I, think I it's thought. It's about circle's edge or so. so. You see Ian here putting from the line. Man. It's 
tough green here for our card. Yeah, I, I believe Matthew was inbound, so this is par putt. Good save from the drop zone. Lucas trying to get his disc back. Now remember the new OB rules. You know, if you go OB, you can take a meter in any direction. So you always want to use that to your advantage. Which is kind of handy, especially on like a lie like this, where it's like if you go right or left, you might actually have you know flat footing. Yeah. Sticks it for bogey. It's a good putt. That can that can get away from you quick. There's Justin to knock down his par. Very good. I believe Ian is gonna drop a stroke here. He's gonna drop two and that's gonna put Justin in the lead. But right now, Matt kind of has the momentum, if I'm not mistaken. So, getting up here, we are going to hole 16. This is a par 5, 834 feet. Uphill gap off the tee to a landing zone. Your second shot, you are trying to do your best to get to right here. Tough to do. Once you get to here, you have to play another gap down and to the left. Into a fast green. This is a doozy. Um, I'm not going to lie. Watching that fly over, this looked like a par six. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> That's a okay. fantastic drive. <laughs> yeah, that is nice. We see the forehand flex. This is kind of like hole three, where you can really work it right to left. Ah, drew he kind of gets over on that one too much and cut rolls. Lucas is looking to smash. Just super early release, it looked like. Yeah, I think that log kind of saved him. I think he would have ended up farther down the hill to the left. That wasn't there. That was close to being really good. Mm. So if you don't make it farther than that short tee kind of in front of Ian, you have to pitch up. Oh, actually, Ian makes it to the bottom of that hill. You have to either pitch up to the bottom of that hill or there's kind of a landing zone up the hill to the right that you can look at a gap going through. Justin is trying to get up this hill. Come on. Oh. oh no! Dang. That, that was, was sauced. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think that tree kicked him to where I was kind of saying the shorter landing zone is. But Matt is in a fantastic <laughs> spot. Yeah, Matt. Okay, so that's where ideally you have to do it. Oh, really? Okay. I'd say it's okay too, boys. Yeah. <laughs> and I wouldn't doubt that Lucas can reach the pin. Oh. Ah, it just needs to get it's through. An enjoy from perfect, right? You can kind of hear Lucas say, inch, inch away from perfect, and I would agree. Mm -hmm. This might be a roller. Yeah, it just gets over a little bit. Man, that's a risky shot for a hole like this. Yeah, yeah. And you can see pitching down to this gully gives you a weird angle because mm -hmm. you got to go up and then almost like back down. OK. 
Okay. That's nice. Yeah, okay, indeed. So that circle. Look. Slow down, slow okay. down, slow down. It's going to be a tap in birdie for Matt. Which is incredible for this yeah. hole. what can happen here. Good way to stop the bleeding. And where are we? Yeah. How do we get down there? I hit four things and he's going to have a circle's look. <laughs> that was interesting. That does drop off. He's gonna have a probably a twenty-five footer coming back up the hill. Yeah, good par save. To grab par. Justin also able to make the comeback for par. And finally, to Matthews, putt. These ones feel good when you're, everybody's been playing for a little while and it's finally your turn and you're tapping in for birdie. Yeah, and this, this did play, surprise, surprise, the hardest on the course. Matthew and Andrew Cochran were the only fours. So, well done. We're going to give you a little bit of a treat back out here into the open this is hole 17 par 4 609 feet this cornfield to the left is all ob and once you get to the basket it drops way off and this rain is really coming down oh my goodness you can really see it when it's on the catch can yeah. I don't notice as much in, or in the trees, but no, they're back to that open. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of swinging forehands on this hole. The mistake is kind of what Justin's doing here and just ending up too far to the right. Um, or I see a lot of mid ranges thrown backhands. So they just keep it straight in the fairway. This gets down and doesn't skip pretty really good. I'll take that. Sit. Yeah, it's not bad. From there, it's like another forehand into the basket. Oh, this is ideal. More of a spike hyzer from Lucas there. A little shorter, but in good position. This stables up. Good. You're in there, you can go. What did it just hit? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> that a canoe? I don't know if it helped that? or hurt. Like, kind of kept it out. Maybe it would have slid under there. Don't you tell. Seems like a good out. Probably a pitch up from there. Matthew has a mid into the pin. Mid or a putt or putter. Get a little. Oh, it needs to slow down. That's not bad. He'll have a putt from that pine. Justin with the smart move of just pinching it under the basket. Tapping for four. Here's Lucas for his birdie. That's going to find its way down the hill. I just have to see how far it went. Yeah, that was oh, let's go. 
A little bit downhill, dead center putt for Matthew there. Yeah, Matthew is on a heater right now. He's in his last three. He got three out of the last four, and he's definitely got the momentum on his side. Good putt. Oh, wow. Grabbing the last chain and dunking it in. He'll take that for par. Nice bird in. Thank you. Well done. Definitely some uh, some limbs to kind of get around there. Got the rain, got the limbs, got the wind. Just working against everything. Good, good clean putt. And we find ourselves here at hole 18. This is a par four, 564 feet. OB all along the left side, jail to the right landing zone on this side of the gully and you're pitching across up to this basket it's a really cool hole to end on um forehand backhand rollers i've seen it all so pick your poison what are you doing off this tee back when i had a good forehand i was forehanded and now i'm throwing like a flippy fairway Looks like a decent spot. He'll be able to hopefully maneuver something through there. Yeah. What is this? Yeah, maybe so like... For a roller? Maybe. I, you know, I, I think he's trying to really swing that to the right. The, I mean, obviously, the closer you get to the gap up there, the easier it is to pitch it across. Um... This gets a good cut roll out. Uh, he's probably going to be a little pinched off. But it is tough to get it swinging to the right. Nice. Uh-oh. It's going to really need to swing. Yeah, I don't Unfortunately, going to be out of bounds. And now you're looking at a gap that's 200 feet away from you. find some trees and kicks down there I, I'm not I, I forget exactly how they have it in there but there's some some casual relief because it gets kind of dangerous going way down in there yep. Matthew trying to find his way through just a little short I'll have to see where that ended up and this is an ideal spot Oh, and takes advantage of it and puts it inside the circle for a birdie look to close out the second round. Lucas has parked that. Get, get off the course. Tomorrow's another day. Matt Good with a little, little bit there. Bit there, yeah. Let's we have Justin here. Ian, last hole of the day, makes the putt to get back at the top at neg 10. Yeah, and you know what, Nick? It ain't supposed to be any better tomorrow. No, and we play a harder course tomorrow. Yeah. So get your strokes when you can. Go home, wash your towels, dry your towels. Get them all bagged up. Dry your shoes. Dry, sh <laughs> dry shoes. <laughs> all right, and there we have it for our card here. Second round of Project Presents the Lake Marshall Open. Take a look at our card. Matt coming in with that four down. Really turning it out on that back to tie with Ian. Justin at two under and Lucas at one over on the round. Taking a look at our leaderboard. A couple of familiar faces we'll see back tomorrow again on the front nine, round three on Gatekeeper Media's page. Thank you for joining us here on Heiser Media. If you'd like to be a supporting sponsor, please email us at Heiser Media. 
get you that information. As always, subscribe here. Check this out there. For Dan, I'm Nick. We'll see you on the next one.